It's 446, and so the Hurricane Center sometimes will work diligently right up until 5 o'clock when mm -hmm. you're really confused and something's in question. That's not what they're doing this time. I want to leave with a storm surge graphic because it's what I had in the wall. We've got a 5 to 7 foot storm surge still expected anywhere from Brevard County all the way up to Volusia and higher storm surge probabilities as you go up the coast. Here's the brand new track. This just came out at 5 p.m., and the problem is the storm is now stationary. It's exactly what we talked about last hour. I said... Moving at one mile per hour is just a different way of saying it's stationary. Yeah. It's not moving. So it's sitting there parked, hasn't moved at all in the last hour or so. So wind speeds are down to 145. We have a Category 4 storm on our hands. Still ready to march very close, dangerously, perilously close to our coastline over the coming 48 hours. We're talking Wednesday evening before I think we can get back to normal and say, yeah, it's over. It's going to be all the way up here. Good news for the folks up in Carolina is that it misses them now, too, on this path to projected movement. But it's going to be a hold-your-breath kind of weekend or week, work week, once they finally get back to work. Because margin of error for them is growing. But down here, we're starting to shrink our cone back, starting to close it down. Look at this close-up view. See that right there? All of Orange County now is out of the cone for the eye. So no threat of it drilling into Orlando, we don't believe. But this path to projected movement is now about 45 to 50 miles off the coast from the Cape. The farther it will jog, or we believe it will jog to the east, the better the forecast is going to become for you. You still have to remain vigilant. Sometimes these hurricanes do things we don't expect them to do. I could list you four or five different times right off the top of my head when they did something they were not expected to do. If it were to drill this way and come into the Cape, it would still be a pretty big disaster. But if it goes farther out to the east as things are trending, that will be a very good deal indeed. So the new track might have moved just a little jog just to the east, just a smidge following the consensus track of all the ensemble models. So looking a little bit better for us now. The longer this thing stays stationary and starts to move to the north, the better off we in Central Florida, especially on the coast, are going to be.